Our primary mission was, it's called a relief in place. And what that is is that there's a unit already on location and they've exhausted their, their manpower, if you will. And then we would come in and then relieve that team. What we do for the public is, you know, is protect them without them necess necessarily realizing that we're there to protect them. And we do that through supporting local jurisdictions. So after med monitoring, at that point, when operations gives us the go ahead, uh, then we would go ahead and put our air pack on, put our level A suit on, and then make entry into the scene. We identified the suspicious package, we monitored the outside of it. Once there weren't any obvious threats that our monitors picked up on, we carefully opened the package. Uh, we, we removed two port sized containers, and there was a liquid and a solid. So being in suit can take such a toll on you, like say someone was to have a heat stroke and pass out. Well, we need to be trained on how to get them out of their suit safely. And the whole time they could be unconscious, not breathing, you know, so really every minute counts. So when we do our man, man down drills, it's, it's about as true to life as we can get. Decon doesn't get a lot of credit, but they, they have one of the most important jobs on the team. You know, because it, it's really their job to make sure that we're clean and safe when, when, we, when we come out of that hospital. So this was my first experience working with the Bosnians. It was a real enjoyable experience. It's good to make uh, connections. If every state hosts a different country, you know, that, that really sets, sets an international standard that the United States does some really good training and, you know, it's, that we're very welcoming to, 